Hi everyone, my name is Nikos. I'm the founder of Soundflow Music Academy and today I'm joined with Francesco Poggi. How are you, Francesco? Hello, Nikos. I'm good. You? Hello, yeah, guys. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. So um, today we're going to be covering a sort of a lot of things to do with getting yourself out there as a DJ, things that you can do to stand out in front of promoters, as well as how to, how to run um, successful parties and how to promote your parties. Francesco has been promoting parties in London for, I think, uh, about 15 years, something Lo like that at the moment. L London and Italy before London. Yeah, but yes, London is 16 years, actually. Yeah. Because I started playing here, uh, promoting my own parties. I created a party to start playing in London. Yeah. So that because at that time, well, there was the only way as was internet wasn't on, no Facebook, no no Instagram, <laughs> nothing. So the only solution was to create your party with your friends, to build something from zero, to stand, to be noticed from then other people, other promoters. So yes. Yeah. So 16 years in London, yeah, more making parties, running clubs. Apart now that we are, <laughs> we are obviously on old, all of us, <laughs> <laughs> but yes. <laughs> That's fantastic, buddy. Yeah. So I, Francesco also has been working with uh, Soundflow Music Academy in the past. Uh, he, you know, was sort of helping us organize our gigs in uh, Club Aquarium and some of them in Ministry of Sound. And he really knows what he's talking about. So I've got a few questions. Thanks. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so I've got a few questions which are sort of commonly asked. Um, I asked a bunch of our students what they wanted to know as well. And I kind of got the top few questions from everybody that they want to know and the first one and probably the most commonly asked one is what is the first step an aspiring DJ should take to start their journey towards building their career so you're a new DJ you've learned how to DJ maybe you've done a gig maybe you haven't what should you really start to do in order to start building your way up getting some gigs Ah, oh man. I mean, like when you are sure, obviously, that your technique, your mixing technique is good enough, you, you need to look for and you got a music style that you you got an idea of what you want to play and where do you want to play. <clears throat> and you have an idea in which part you would like to see yourself playing. My point of view, my point of view even if now it's really easy because you got Facebook, you got a mail, you can reach easy a promoter or the DJ that uh, organizing yeah. the lineups. On my point of view, me, I always suggest to go as a as just a customer, as a client, to that party first, and to see what that part is about in real. Because obviously, already if it's one off like a festival, it's much more difficult. There, but if it's a party that is regular, if it's not weekly, it's monthly or bi-monthly, you always better to go. You go, you check what is going on around you, you check what the other DJ is playing, and not only the guest. Actually, me I always suggest to say, I always say, the guest is the possibly is the one that you need to to refer less when you go because the guest is someone that is coming, is doing that that once, is bringing the people that they 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 gonna come and see him, is gonna smash the dancer and leave. But the one that is is always on behind but every time the party, the one that really decided and the music style of the party is the resident DJ. So my advice is go check the first time, check the, what the music style. Think if your your set will fit there. If you if you if you can see yourself there playing more or less that kind of music. If it's that the answer is yes, then go again or go back home, organize a nice DJ set, and. Uh, okay and target it. So use the experience when you were there to create a right DJ set. After that, put it on a USB key, because right now it is USB mm -hmm. key, before it was a CD, before it was a tape. Now it's USB key, go there, try to reach and to introduce yourself to the resident DJ and have it start to talk to him and nicely introduce yourself. And that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's actually a really good point because I know, um, a lot of DJs that I know actually made their connections by just going to events and just trying to network with the people running the event. I think people don't realize that even in pretty big events, the DJs, the promoters, they're going to be, you know, hanging around the DJ booth, hanging around the club, and it's easy to go and say all, hello. All the time. You know? Yeah. Usually um, they're there from the beginning till the end. Yeah. Mostly, more or less, let's say. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I when um I used to do a few gigs for Paka Up in the past actually, and yeah, I know Paka. Um, yeah, and um, while I was sort of DJing around that scene, um, I I had been to a few clubs where I had met the promoters there, just went to say hello. I knew who they were from following the events on social media. Didn't ask for a set or anything, just introduced myself, you know, kind of had a little chat. And then when I messaged them on social media, they were much more inclined to help me and offer me gigs because they already knew who I was and they knew that I've gone there to support. Of course, the personal impact the, as a face-to-face -face is really important. And you, it's crazy, but it's promoters, in myself inclu inclusive, tends more to give an opportunity actually to someone that maybe has got a bit less experience, but is always there to the party that is supporting yeah. physically that, that someone that possibly is really good and is sending an even better set than the, 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 the guy that is always there, but online. Because, because it's important, the personal relationship that you build and the, the friendship that you, 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 you start to have with that person, because all of us, we are humans. And you need to think about promoters that they got millions of, if the party is especially successful, uh, you imagine a boat. Uh, at 338, for example. Yeah. Yeah. How many, how many, how many links of DJ from all over they're gonna get daily to get the, because they want to play there. So they don't have even time to go through all of this. And uh, and plus they don't really like to select like that. Yeah. So there is always the best way is always to go there. And uh, it, later you say that you're a DJ, better it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like <laughs> first you're first you're a supporter. If you go there, if you go there the, the first time, I'm, 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 ah, you're a promoter. How you do? How you do? I'm a DJ. I want to play. Can I play? That, that's yeah. wrong. Yeah. It it just seems <laughs> needy. Yeah, it seems like you're there just for that reason exactly. and not to support the event. Absolutely. That's 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 basically it's like it's the same as the one that's sending the link without not even going to the party. Yeah. So yeah. you get you get your 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 level the same level. So yeah. yes, go there and. Um, Get the vibe, I, I, get the party vibes, first things. Get the party vibes as a yeah. punter, as a customer, as a, as a party goer, as a dancer. And yeah. then from there work and get into the family. Because anyway, Absolutely. at the end, every party is a family, is a family that starts few people together and they get bigger, 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 bigger. My still a family. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I would say as well that, um, you know, there are going to be DJs who are more introverted. Maybe you're a little shy and you don't feel that comfortable going. But even going to the event, people seeing your face, knowing that you're there um, does make a big difference. And, you know, I've I've met a lot of people who aren't necessarily that easy to, to talk to. They're not going to come up to me, but just saying hello makes a big difference. I think, you know, you don't have to be the best be the best person at talking in the world. Just be nice. Just say hello and be nice. Everyone in the club is there to have a nice experience. If you are nice, sooner or later, you will get, you will get to, to, to to the connection, yeah. even if you are shy. The important thing yeah. is <laughs> that you really want to. And maybe it's going to take a bit more time because maybe you're a bit more shy. But if you're a good, nice person, you really like it, you really want it, you're going to get it. Sooner or later, you're going to get your chance. Then it's up to you to strike the chance because... The first time that they're gonna give you that chance is really important to impress the, the people that they are they gave you that chance. So because then it can be yeah. the beginning of a story. But to get to that beginning of a story, you need to be accepted in, and you need to be with the family. Yeah. Unless unless you are the guest DJ that you, you because you are a big known producer, so they are the one calling you to go as a guest and play to them. And that's that's another step, it's a different situation. But to start with, yes, go there and enjoy the party. <laughs> try, yeah. try to be to get friends and to connect with the people behind it. DJ, promoter, yeah. friends of the DJ, friends of the promoters, which is another another thing, which is really, is, let's say, is a secret. We can say a little secret. Last time I said to Jake that on our one-to-one -one lesson, yeah. sometimes it's even wrong to go straight to the DJ or to the promoter maybe get to know before the friend of the friend that then you get to them then the friend then they are going to introduce you in a different way to the promoter. yeah ah, it's a really nice guy's my friend blah blah, blah 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 you are in straight away yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely very very true now i will point out that of course it goes without saying you've got to be good because when you get the opportunity you really only get one in a lot of cases you know if you go up and you suck completely you're probably not going to get an, another opportunity. If you go up and you're okay, 
and they see potential, that's that's good as well because they can see, okay, you've got potential, maybe you need a bit more work, but definitely is equally important to work on your skill to make sure you know what you're doing because I think there's a lot of people who learn the bare basics and then they try to go out and make a name for themselves and then it's difficult to get somewhere that way as well. Yeah. So the sure. the, the second question kind of goes goes along with this and it's, what are some good tips for building a solid online presence for an aspiring DJ or producer? Um, as in like, what are you expecting to see when someone sends you their profile? Because like, as a promoter, Francesco, I'm sure you were getting 10, 20 people every day sending you their yeah, Facebook, yeah, yeah. their even mixed more, cloud. Even more, because they do from the club side, from the party side, from yeah. the personal side, so from the sound club. But yeah, uh, basically, honestly with you, me personally, I never been, I haven't, I never checked any followers, how many followers he's got. So that, no, me always been checking the set. So, I mean, and I'm honest with you, don't think guys that the promoter, unless he really doesn't have not, nothing to do, which is, uh, <laughs> which is rare on my point of view. It doesn't, doesn't put your set from the minute from zero to the 67 minutes. So that's yeah. at least an older set. Usually the, we do like one, two, three, four clicks, maximum five in true one hour set. That's why everybody asks, uh, first of all, link, link has to be link, uh, click and play because of that. Because if you put, if you send a link that needs to be downloaded before, yeah. they won't download that link. <laughs> so first, so first, one, first needs to be a click, click and play. Click top, and play. So stre streaming like streaming. Mixcloud or SoundCloud, something like yeah. that. Yeah. So second, remember that they're going to do four, maximum five click if you are lucky, six click. And they need to find what me. I was I was looking about what tune they were in. First of all, what tune they were in that set. How he was starting it. After ten minutes, I was going. Twenty minutes, forty minutes, and I was ending one hour. Yeah. And I was I was expecting in this five click at least to find one tune that we always play in our club in our parties. Or okay. Or if it's not the same tune, the style. Similar style, yeah. Similar style, obviously. Because otherwise, even if they're good, they're not right for your party. They, exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. Because there is no point. Me, I go, I created a party, so my, um, let's say, my party is going. So that's why you came there. Maybe you want to play there. So my party is yeah. a story. You need to fit with the story. If I play tech house, and you send me an EDM mix, or you send me a techno mix, or yeah. and how seventy disco mix. It's a waste of time for you to, and for me. So anyway, it, actually, then I will, I will remember that that name and I won't listen even anymore. Oh, no, that one is the name DM. No, this one is any disco. I mean, yeah. Which is not, nothing against EDM or disco. It's not what I do. Of it's course, not what yeah. we do. So, 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 so I think... The, the, for, the, sorry, go ahead. So for me, that for things. And then honestly, if this I was finding the right interesting music that I know it could fit on us, on yeah. our party, uh, I was checking how it was mixed. Then, then I was going more into details and say, okay, let me hear how I was mixing this guy. So I was yeah. going exactly into the translation of them from one tune to another one. <laughs> if even that was good, then I was checking the social media. And we nice. see how, where and, it's and, coming and from. I think and... it matters how professional their social media looks. Not, not if they have a lot of followers, but if they've taken the care to have a nice bio, a nice picture, things like that. Yeah, obviously it's gonna help, but a more, yeah. as a more professional you can appear and better it is, no? Yeah, of course. But 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 um, I'm honest. I even uh, I even know that um, there is a beginning for everyone. So yeah, of course. Uh, how can uh, I can pretend that someone that is he applied to play on my party and maybe you know like he's not applying uh, as a from that label label as a big yeah. I am this deal. So he wants an opportunity. I don't expect to find uh, 150,000 followers on Instagram and, and uh, yeah, 10,000 on Facebook, otherwise they're fake anyway. Very true. <laughs> yeah, so very actually, true. me, if me they're I contacting was... you and, <laughs> yeah, and you know what I mean? 20,000 followers, they're <laughs> yeah. probably not real followers. <laughs> but yes, yeah. possibly, possibly Sven Vat needs to check that and Carl Cox or, uh, or yeah. Marco Carola for music on <laughs> needs to check that. No, as no, to be honest, I, I was checking the, the skills, the music taste, and then honestly, I was checking. I was checking more where he was leading this guy. If this guy uh, had some his previous experience, even even a little one, but yeah. if he had some other experience, I think that helps. Yeah. But another things, write that. So if if you don't have any 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 previous experience, don't write bullshit because better nothing than bullshit. But if you had some experience, 
write it. I think the best way is to write it in the nice way, because there are some people that they come to you, they don't two kicks only in the fourth room of the of one club, and yeah. they write, ah, me, I've been playing, bam, 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 and then maybe they write, I've been playing with Green Velvet, I've been playing with Benvet, and they were yeah. in the seventh room, as when they <laughs> was in the seven, yeah, you were know, in the same yeah. night. But I you know a night. lot of people that do that. And, Absolutely. and that's wrong because you know yeah. what? I mean, I was thinking, ah, okay, another then another Kerkos, no, we don't need him. Yeah. <laughs> I was I it's, it's, away, I was getting rid of them because the aptitude is not what yeah, it's it's better to be honest and to to seem yeah. like you're appreciating an opportunity yeah. rather than to seem like you're already the balls, you're yeah. the you're the best. Wow. And, no, no, the and you know, plus another, opportunity. another yeah, big definitely. tip, deep tip, big tip is that if you can have in a few not to be a big bio, it needs to be like three or four lines. One is right, yeah, I would like to apply, I like your no, I like your music, your party, I've been there and already yeah. are you been there. I'm already out, so you've been there, you know what we're talking about. And then maybe you say that uh, that you you played there and there, and that you can uh, you are interested to uh, bring get involved into help the promotion, into help the marketing of the party, not only to come and play here. Yeah? Then is is there are two two key words that especially at the day of today. Everybody, yeah. I, when I say everybody, I say everybody, so even the biggest club that you can think in London needs and wants. Yeah. Everybody, everybody needs support and everybody likes the fact that you you can uh, you can help it with marketing, bringing people, doing a guest list or whatever yeah. it can be, uh, internet, whatever. So that's important. And then, yeah, just, just, uh, the luck, the luck, yeah. that, uh, a bit of luck and, you need here and there. <laughs> and we just got a comment from Vabs. He says, it's better to be open and honest, especially when you're looking for an opportunity. And yeah, exactly. that's completely exactly. true. Completely so if you true. think, ah, better to send myself big because they see I'm big, yeah. I'm going to get it straight away. No, because if you were big, maybe you were not you applying through this way. My was your manager that is managing yeah. Jamie Jones as well, that he was selling you as a guest for my party. Or yeah. trying to be so you know like no yeah and so I, I think we we can summarize it in always have a streaming mix and the more the better because they can see you have a history of 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 posting and it's not just one that you've done yeah um contact promoters which are the which have the right genre of parties for your music style so don't send a drum and bass mix to a techno party exactly. because there is there is no point. Um, and of course, try to make your profile look as professional as possible. Like Francesco said, everybody starts out somewhere, but yeah, yeah it, it, it doesn't take a lot of time to just make sure the images are the right size, get ah, yeah, together yeah, a definitely, logo. Definitely, definitely. It, it shows that you're, you're, you put in the time to work on your craft. Even those little details can, can really make you stand out. That's the, uh, yeah. And Definitely. support the party. I mean, before I was meaning, don't, 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 yeah. But when I was saying before, I don't expect to be professional, I was expecting not, not that, that, yeah, uh, this is really important. The things I would say, yeah. I don't expect to find, don't buy followers. <laughs> don't buy followers like 90 Don't buy followers. Don't buy, because you see, uh, if you understand about this, if you are in this since many days, since yeah. before Facebook, since before Instagram were born, or me, you know they are fake. You know what is I fake. Know. You know 100%. what is right. Straight away, yeah. you don't need to. It takes one second. Really, I open. Oh, okay, that's fake. Bye. <laughs> so yes. Um, quick side note: in case anyone's wondering why I look red, it's because I have red acoustic traps in the corner, uh, and uh, the sun is sort of shining from them and making me look red. No, no, you look great. Cool. If you don't see me, it's because there is no light here. Really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you're in the studio. Out. I'm in the dark that's side. Great. I like dark. <laughs> so let's uh, get on with the next question, if that's all right. So, um, I mean, we we said what's the best way to go about contacting promoters. I think we answered. We answered already know? together. Yeah, with the go first, to. Yeah. Um, the next one is sort of, if you are getting. 10, 20 people contacting you every day. Um, is there anything you can say um, that makes you stand out or that makes you feel like I'm going to look at them instead of the other person? You see, when, they, they, when, they sell, when they send the, the, the sets, when they send the tracks? When they, they send the, the tracks, yeah. Like you said, keep it short. I think that's a good so, tip. But, but by you know? Short bio, keep it short, four or five lines. Write yeah. what you have done, not put in yourself, like what you really done. Yeah. Say, if you say uh, 
for example, uh, let's say one name. I don't know. Can we say names there? I yeah, play in yeah. egg. If you if you if you say I played in egg, egg club, for example, yeah. and you played on the loft, right? I played on the loft on the egg club on a Friday. Don't write I played with uh, Monica Cruz on the basement when you were on the loft. You know, or or if you don't uh, like birthday parties, write them. Write birthday parties and and just one 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 tip that you could say is that you writing that you've been there. Starts with yeah. start like hello, I don't know, hello, hello, Nikos. I've been to some Florida Cavalry party. I really like the blah, blah, blah. And then in the set that you do, try to look and to put four or five tunes that the DJ, the, 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 the DJ, the DJ played on yeah. that party. Because usually there are, in any party, there are always, always some few tunes that they, every party they repeated, they, at least for a while, that we call them the key tunes. like. Yeah, you got the people the coming to your party to, to your one. party yeah. to listen at that and that tune, and they want it. If you don't play, they come and request it, request it, request. Yeah. I don't say that. Uh, so every party's got some tune that characterize the party. So try to cut yeah. them, get them, and put them in your set. So mm -hmm. that 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 the promoter say, ah, yeah, he came because we played this, this tune. Ah, he came, he came because because then then for sure they're gonna check because nice. ninety yeah. percent of the times any promoter needs new people and wants new people fresh people nice. always welcome yeah nice Usually, yeah. so i think now we're gonna divert a little bit into running a party yeah. if you're actually running a party now i know francesco when when we scheduled this um i sent him a list of questions from from students that um you know people wanted to hear people wanted answered and francesco was like we need to talk about licensing fees we need to talk about <laughs> licensing fees and I think that's something really important when you're running a party, isn't it? Or when you're yeah, because like I had I had um, uh, some people, friends, like especially when you're in the nights, no? When they come, ah, oh, nice to meet you. Ah, oh, no, because I like uh, I like music too. And this is not I don't speak about DJs only. Yeah, proper promoter, that someone that doesn't promoter, care about yeah. about DJ. He wants just to. He loves music. He loves party. He knows people, and he wants to make his party. Ah, oh, yeah, because. This is great, you know. I spend every time, every weekend I go, I spend money, and uh, I, I enjoy too much. I now I want to create my party. I want to go out to my party, which is that, which yeah. is understandable if you really like a lot of the party, and it's a good thing. So the first things like say, well, how, they ask me, oh, what? How do you do? What do you do? There are different ways. <laughs> the, the best way, or my point of view, to start with is to to get a room in a club, which is the best because you got less headache. And at least yeah. you can you can try without risking too much to have your your product for once if it's working what is wrong what is wrong because when you because sometimes so, no, so Maria, start in a small room don't start room. don't don't approach small. for a big room okay. yeah yeah don't approach big 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 uh, big big brands if it's the beginning because they yeah. you waste your time because it's difficult but you can approach maybe small disco bar. Or a club like as the smaller club and and yeah. try to create your story there. That's all my 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 advice is always there because now for example I say that because in the in the past let's say quite a lot of years like ten years even no, eight ten years there was like and there is now still again the warehouse parties the no the what's how would you say the like cool the, thing the, the cool underground, thing, uh, the underground yeah. cool yeah. it wasn't anymore the club was where i and me i go to warehouse i mean how do you do warehouse so yeah i was having people coming i'm like no mommy i don't want to do a club me i want to do warehouse yeah do a warehouse is not really the best tips if you want to start the party because yeah. you can get completely fucked up at the first time that you so me i never suggest yeah, that yeah. but yeah it, 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 this is another way but in that, that that way you need to ever apply for a license you need to get the license, you need to have the bar license, you have to have the music license, you need to have the security, yeah. you need to have possibly so you, you need to the basically license run it like, like a club. You that's need a club, to and club it's gonna be only for yeah. once. It's so not you do all it. all this work for one time only. Yeah. It's expensive, you risk, they can say even no. Yeah. And you waste your time. And plus, if it's coming, if it's not getting as you your program as you think it's gonna go, you're yeah. gonna lose a lot of money. And the party is gonna be shit. So you're gonna even lose the straight away. You're not gonna have a good impression from people. Maybe they're gonna say, oh, I went there, the place was big, it wasn't enough busy, the vibes was okay, I left, I paid, well, don't go again. So yeah. start small, yeah. quality start with the quality, small. Yeah. small, grounded, feet on the floor, 
The first things I say, do you remember that the party is a party, is a party, can be even a party without a DJ. Party is a gathering of friends together. Yeah. So me, I always say, start from there. Small place, friends that like music together, DJ that you know that you like his music or maybe is a part of the family, build your family from zero from, and then grow up. Yeah. And then, then things yeah. comes together. And I think, I think it's important as well to note that um, if you fill out a room that fits 50 people, yeah. the party is going to be a lot more fun than if there's 50 people in a room that fits 500 people. Exactly. Um, and I think um, one of the best things you can do is to just contact the club owner or the promoter of the club, the manager of the club, and basically talk about your idea for the party. But again, if you've done something small before, even in a local bar, in a, in a, even in a, in a pub, however it's small, right, exactly. it, it, it helps because when you contact the, the club owner or the promoter, whoever it is that you're contacting, then they, they understand that you've got the basics of running an event down. You know? you know how to get some people to the party. You have a few DJs ready to play at your party and you've got a theme that you've worked out. And I think that's also important about themes for parties because a lot of people do a party and it's um, all different genres. There's no theme to it. There's no reason for someone to go to it specifically. But if you're doing a techno party, make it a techno party. If you're doing a commercial house party, make it a commercial house party, right? And build your theme around it rather than so many also, different... Also, there is another reason why it's really yeah. good. Yeah, because that's like... A, um, I can tell you because the laws they are changed a lot in club land lately. As you can see, London, <laughs> many places they've been shut, they've been closed in the last past ten years. Yeah, and um, mine too. <laughs> so, uh, so club I know two, yeah, two times two to the aquarium and before gem as well. So two yeah. times happens to me this and and um, now the police and the councils they require. Any time you open the door, they require a, a paper that the name is risk assessment. Okay. Yeah. So they, they, they asking you, okay, you got three rooms. Yeah. They said, what are you going to do in the first room, the second room, the third room, all the name of the DJs, older, and you are the club, you are the one taking responsibility for these people. Okay. So you are a new promoter and you want to contact me to get a room to, do, to bring your party there. The first things they, the, any clubs, it, me speaking most in London now, eh? the London area, because yeah, this, is, I, this is in London and less, uh, or UK, let's say, but London especially. Yeah. Um, they're going to ask you uh, the references. So if you have even a, a, a party in a, in, a, in a pub, as you were saying, of 20 people, and you, you can give the number of this guy and the, straight away the, the club is going to call. And then what they want to hear is not about, ah, well, yeah, they brought a thousand people. It was not. They want to know, yeah, they're nice people, no trouble. Nice, nice vibes. That's a great point. And so you already get step ahead or someone that never had that. Because yeah. if you even if you are great, like you, you are a great person, but you never done a party before. And me, I can't get the responsibility for you because maybe you are yeah. great, but then you got 50 friends that they are travel and I I'm gonna lose my business because I gave you the chance. So yeah. so why to start in a small places? Because pubs, small places, it's, they don't need to do that. And yeah. And, but at the same time, they can give references because it's a public place and because they've already been with your friends and with you one night, four or five hours, they've been giving yeah. you a drink, they've been seeing, seeing you how you react under drink, under all the effects of the nightlife stuff you can think of. And this is a good, this is a super, yeah. super good. Uh, that's, that's a really act. great point. So, so to summarize, what you're saying is one, a really important thing is give the reference of the pub owner so if i'm contacting you you can call yeah, them yeah, and yeah. say are yeah. they nice people yeah you know yeah. do they cause any trouble that's that's a good point because as a as a dj myself i never thought about that point of view from a promoter but as a promoter if you're running a party it makes sense that yeah because that is the management yeah. is, is important this is the general manager is going to tell to the to one in charge of the promotion of the dj say okay yeah this is from now on police wants this so you before to book you need to check this and usually now they were asking for three references different yeah. ones all in london so nice uh so okay. yeah i think that after that it's gonna be even more so yeah. th this is not gonna decrease actually it's gonna be always more tight and they want because they want to play safe and they don't want to problems anymore in clubs yeah so they don't they don't need to close them <laughs> so you know and uh, this Absolutely. is really important so yes if you never done that nothing start for something really small 
So you yeah. don't need all these things. You don't risk your money. You build yourself there. And when you're ready, apply to the biggest one with the references of the small ones. Fantastic. That's a really great point. Good yeah. stuff. Now, I do also, um, we'll get on to PRS licensing in a second as well. Yeah. I know you want to say a couple of things about that. Um, but one thing is, in the beginning, start small, get 10, 15, 20 people into a pub, throw a party. Yeah. Once it starts to grow, I think you're going to have your loyal fan base that come to your party all the time. But another thing that matters is building a good online presence. So when people are looking for what parties to go to and they come across yours, there's something that entices them to go to your party. Now, this starts with building a good foundation on online marketing and online strategy. And I think a lot of people get it wrong. I think, you know, Francesco, that too many people buy fake followers yeah. and then they contact you and they say, oh, look, I have 10,000 people who like yeah, my yeah, event. Seen before. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. 10 people Plenty. show up. Plenty um, of <laughs> <laughs> Plenty so, of <laughs> Yeah. But if, if, you, if you actually spend a bit of money in building an online strategy and a marketing campaign, it doesn't have to be a lot, but just a bit, and you get real eyes onto your event and onto what you're offering, and you have some kind of USP, some kind of unique thing about your party, unique proposition, then people are going to go. You know, even if, for example, you're throwing a party in Shoreditch, right? Yeah. And you decide to spend 300 pounds hiring a semi-big headliner, someone who's like B-list DJ, mm -hmm. and you throw a party for free and you promote it online specifically to people who live in Shoreditch. A lot of people who don't want to spend money, they might be like, you know what? Yeah, I'll go to that because it's free yeah, yeah. because there's someone that I know when I want a night out. Then if your party ends up being good, if the, it doesn't matter how amazing the venue is. I think more it's the atmosphere has to be nice. The people have to be nice. Sound system is good. Sound if system you, is good. You got it nice. Lights is really important Yeah. Be because for the vibes, the lights are really important. So this is a point that you know, never, uh, for me, it's really important. I'm really, if, when I go even in a warehouse, I pref if I see all these PPP, no. So, I mean, like, it needs to be sound and lights, from my point of view, is the most important. And the people yeah. and the vibes, the vibes is it's even the, the vibe, people. The, the it's the people, the DJ, yeah, the and the people thing. that they are. Yeah, it's the whole contest. So you need to be yeah. able that everything is connected, everything is matching together, is going in the, in the right place, you know? Yeah. And then, yeah. So we, we can summarize it in work hard. <laughs> See, that's be nice and be nice. uh you know one step at a time don't try to go yeah. straight to the top you can you can you can give another tip which is think out of the box yeah of so course. like you do a party in shoreditch okay you as you say target online on the people on shoreditch and then give invitation on the people that they are on shoreditch yeah. that night don't rely only on internet and your friend rely yeah. even on the one that are out because they were there because they decide they have the living party, they're having the drinks, they finish the drink. Ah, oh, I want to go. Let's go and dance where we go now. Yeah, there we go. Very true. My party, free. Come, next door. Come, 10 minutes. I'll take you. Nice, nice. Absolutely. Really and and you, can, you can hire promoters to do that for you. Can I, yeah, there's many, well, many, right? many companies they, they offer yeah. giving the uh, flyer team the name is. Yeah, they're not promoters, but flyer teams. Flyer yeah. teams, so there are people that are in the street for you and you pay them, of course. And of course. They help yeah. you. And this is a. This is something that before used to be normal. So all, yeah. because you were doing all you were doing like that or you were not doing a party because internet was not on. Now after Facebook internet, now it's few people do that does it. But still all yeah. the big clubs still doing it. There must be a reason why. Yeah, I will say just one, one last tip about this. I think something that a lot of people miss out on is they do all these things, but then there's nothing um, to remind people to keep track of the next party. So if you don't have any way for people to get a reminder for your next party, they might not even know that it's going on. That's so maybe... inside you need to do. <laughs> Sorry? That, that problem, you, you, you need to sort it inside. So when yeah. the people come in, get the contact, get the mail, get the phone number, meet them. Exactly. One yes. person needs to do that all night. Yeah, precisely. So you need some sort of contact with them, some connection so that you can contact them in the future for your next party. That's really important because too many Maybe people miss least. out on that. Yeah. If, even if you have a Facebook page, even if people come to your party, most of them are probably not going to follow your Facebook page and therefore they're not going to know when your next one is on. So get the contact, 
be nice, talk to the people at your party, and slowly it will start to grow. And yes. uh, before you know it, yes. you'll be throwing very successful parties. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then there is other tips, but yeah, we, we can't say all of them. Of now, course, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, um, I, it, for everyone who doesn't know, so obviously we're Soundflow Music Academy. Um, we primarily teach uh, DJing and music production. Um, this is one of the studios. They're all one-to-one. Um, but now uh, Francesco has uh, come into the team and he's going to be helping develop DJs who can who have already you know who are already DJing can already DJ and produce and just helping develop them get them into parties um, create a strategy for them for the best things that they can do to get themselves into these parties get their their name out there get themselves gigs I know Francesco has done that with some people in the past quite successfully and um, he's got a lot of experience you know he you promote events in Ministry of Sound in some yeah. other big clubs yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so you you can book this all through soundflowmusicacademy.com. All the information is there. Uh, you can just also email via the contact form or give us a call and you can book one to one sessions with Francesco and he'll go through your entire strategy as it is right now, everything you've done as a DJ. And even if you haven't done much, help you sort of take yourself to that next level. Help yeah, we can. We, um, we can, can be. Like we build uh, usually one to one. We 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 go through the DJ set as well, and to make nice. it, and I we'll check it, and we correct him. Yeah, with uh, so yeah. Fantastic. Um, so, was there anything you wanted to say about a PRS license or? Ah no, yes, because oh. many promoters they ask me, uh, ah, but but then when when you want to throw a party, do I need to pay? Do I need to apply PRS? Need that license? No, that um, just because now we are here, I answer. No, that's completely different story. PRS is for uh, is the club is the club that is paying in a, year, a yearly a yearly fee yeah. that is according to PRS. So when you when you do and you host a room and uh, you bring your promotion in a club if they ask you money for prs is bullshit they want to steal your money because the the, the, the club right. is already paying the every year for all the year the prs so yeah. so it's uh, never happened to me oh maybe it's possible but never happened to me that anyone asked me for prs money when i go to host and i want to rent a room and uh, even when we do one-off warehouse parties uh, yes, theoretically, you need to pay for one of all this a uh, little fit for to play music that night. But usually, actually, in the night, no one pays for. I um, see. Yeah. Uh, unless it's a festival or big story. If it's a small party, no. And all, all the other pub, pub, club, bars, they already got paid and sorry. So you don't need to give money for that. Yeah, that's a good because, point. Actually, yeah, I have friends that been they've been tricky with that. They were paying to to get basically they do it to get the rent. Higher. Yeah, no, they say, yeah. this is the end. They, 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 they lie. Say, the, then there is this money for PRS. PRS. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Not true. yeah, that's true. So I do think, from what you're saying, every public venue or club or pub or restaurant is already paying for a PRS license. Yes. So when you do an event there, if they ask you to pay for a P for PRS, they're, they're lying. It's it's for extra money. Yeah. Um, don't don't take the bait. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I think in terms of the questions, mm -hmm. we've pretty much covered all of them yeah, that yeah. we have. Of yeah. course, there's a, there's a lot more topics. There's there's so many details we can go into, um, and you know that's why it's it's great if you're an aspiring DJ, have a look at booking a session with Francesco. He really knows what he's talking about clearly, and he's got a lot of experience. Is there anything else you wanna you wanna say? Yeah, that's basically. I, I say to everyone that uh, they, they were after the the course, obviously. That the one that they they got better the idea and the results. Eh, they they gonna they gonna have a chance because we gonna obviously you know we gonna have parties uh, yeah. as soon as we are gonna start again, and we go, we have some some free slots that to to give away. So, I mean, yeah. like. This is true. We actually it can be a, an opportunity extra, apart that learning how to apply with for, uh, with every, all the promoters or whatever yeah. you want. You can apply even. You can win a slot for us and get yeah. some parties play for yeah, us. Yeah, this is true. And in general, we do host uh, gigs throughout the year for all of our students, uh, whether they've come through Francesco through the normal DJ course. Uh, we were supposed to be in Ibiza. We were supposed to go in uh, ten days. Yes. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, supposed to. Supposed to. Why you are not there? Why you? I know. I wish we were. Um, so we were. Yeah, every year we do an Ibiza tour, 
Um, we organized something like 20 gigs. Um, last year we played in Eden, in S Paradise, in Ibiza Rocks Bar. It was great fun. And we'll be doing the same thing next year. To, like Francesco said, if you have something that you've done beforehand, some experience, then the promoter is going to trust you a lot more because they know that at least you've done something and you've got a bit of experience of how to go and perform on CDJs in front of a crowd. Yeah, I think that that matters a lot. And also the promoter can give that, you know, the other company or the other person that booked you a call and ask, how was this DJ? Was he good? Should I bring him to play in my party? And so on, or her. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. True. Awesome. Do you have anything else you want to add, Francesco? No, I think we're okay. okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, everybody, um, I can see there aren't any questions at the moment. Um, let's give you a minute in case you have any questions. Otherwise, we shall say goodbye and um, we'll see you in the next one. We do we do live streams every couple of weeks. Uh, sometimes they're a DJ lesson. Sometimes they're uh, something like this where we talk yeah. about the industry. Um, I can see a couple of people are saying they're super, super sad about Ibiza. So are we. So, are we <laughs> so tell about us. <laughs> uh, you, I, Francesco, it's Sarah. I think you, she spoke to you briefly on the, the Soundflow VIP group, Sarah Riley. Uh, uh, okay, Sarah Riley. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Sarah. Hello. Hello. Hi, Luke. Hi, Bianca. Hello. Hi, Alec. Nice to see you all. Okay. Well, guys, we'll call it there. I'll see you soon. Take care. Stay safe. You too. I hope I'll see you soon in the dance floor, in the club. <laughs> Definitely. So in and person, not virtual. I know everyone, I see everyone in the camera, but, you know, better in yeah, person. <laughs> and also, we just got a, a lovely comment from Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Glad you liked it. Take Thanks, care. Man. Catch you Bye. all in the next one. Speak Bye. Soon. Ciao. Ciao. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.